This is a script that uh, we designed in a uh, undergraduate class on visual computing. Um, this was in a lecture hall with 140 students. And the idea was to talk about different kinds of interfaces. Um, we gave the students um, this uh, activity where they were simulated, simulating uh, buying train tickets using different interfaces. And uh, then we had a whole script around uh, their experience. So I'm just going to play the script now. So I'm going to make one of these uh, large. And what you see here is some instructions for this train activity. Um, basically, uh, it's going to uh, present me with four different interfaces uh, to buy train tickets. The first one is a map. So I need to buy a ticket from Fribourg to uh, Basel. Let's see, Basel. Uh, let's see, with a bike, without a bike. Uh, second class return path pair. Yes, that was the correct ticket. And uh, there's a bunch of different interfaces as well. I'll just quickly show here. So there's the drag and drop interface where we drag these to the right place and they can't be dropped uh, anywhere else. And of course, that's not the correct ticket. Um, there's a form interface. There is a command line, and there's the map interface that I was just um, showing. So I'm go not going to go through all of that, but the idea was that the students had to go through this buying a number of train four um, tickets for each interface. So this would take maybe about 10 minutes. Um, and then we would ask them, what kind of interface did you prefer? And so. However, we gave them different instructions and we didn't tell them that we would give them different instructions. Um, so if you read carefully here, um, here uh, Anna is asked, if you work for the train company, which one would you prefer? Uh, Trina is asked, if you rarely buy a train ticket, uh, which interface would you uh, prefer? So here we're giving different kinds of instructions to different students. And then we're asking them again for their preference. So I'm going to make this big. And here we see the four interfaces. Um, I'm going to say that I like the command line. I like the map, the drag and drop, and the form. So that's an easy way of ranking. Of course, I can also change the, the order of the ranking. I can justify and I can say the command line was faster. So now all the students have finished. and. Uh, now we have an informed consent document, which I'll just skip through. And uh, what we did then was actually grouping students who had different opinions. So if you like the, com the command line, we would group you with someone who liked the map. Um, but we also had some different groups. So we would put two people together who had gotten different instructions as well. So if you were asked uh, what is a good interface for an expert, we might put you with someone who was asked what is a good interface for a um, novice. And we look here, we see that there's uh, two groups um, because we only have four students. So there's group one and A1. And uh, I'll just expand this again. Uh, we use the chat to kind of provide some introductions. So here it says Anna ranked interfaces in the following order. And this is the, the justification that she gave and, and Trina and so on. And uh, what we have here is Anna and Trina. I'll just put those up on the screen. Basically, they need to um, collaboratively decide which one is the better one. They can chat here. And uh, however, they can only control their own um, list. So as you see here, they have their own space. And now if they try to submit, um, well, let's, let's justify. You see that there's collaborative writing here in the justification field. If they try to submit, um, it says, well, you haven't gotten the same um, order. And so both people have to actually collaborate because I can only move my items and uh, Anna can only move her items. So let's see what we need to do here from drag up command. No, okay, that looks good. So now we can submit. And now uh, we're completed the activity. Now, after we completed the first activity, we get to uh, continue, but with some uh, dashboards that actually show us uh, the data from the whole class um, and how many mistakes we made, how many errors we made, 
Uh, now, in this case, I didn't bother to uh, complete very many, so um, we don't have a lot of data. But the idea was to see if we could actually push their conversation to be more factual and tied to the theories of the class rather than personal preference. And we saw this in practice, that people were um, relating to the error rate and the, the speed um, and so on in their discussions. And now, the final, uh, final step is a debriefing from the uh, teacher. So he uses the projector and the teacher is showing two kinds of, of dashboards. He's showing um, where students move to. Again, there's not a lot of data here because I didn't uh, complete activity, but we can, we can see here, for example, that uh, students um, submitted command and then they switched to map. And uh, we also have the data from that the students were looking at. And so the teacher can use this to tie everything back into the class. So that was the script. It was quite unique because we had this custom built um, ticket simulator. Um, but it was interesting to take uh, a script uh, like ArguGraph, which has been used before with uh, uh, quizzes and text answers and um, expand it in, in the way that we did.